Hi guys, it's been a while. I know I've been really slacking off on my video vlogs lately. Um, honestly, it's my birthday month and my birthday is actually tomorrow and I finally got some time to not go to the gym and come here and get this done. I'm a month behind. Hopefully I'll get some time to shoot my video of the month for September, but this is my video of the month for August and it was tree pose, which was the pose that I decided to go with. I thought, you know, it would go well with the being, you know, summertime and everything. Um, also, a lot of the time what I talk about is releasing toxins and I talk about building muscular strength and um, flexibility, but also yoga is a very great tool for balance. It improves balance. So tree pose is actually a standing pose um, and it's good to practice it. Um, in order to gain better balance post. Um, I know doctors recommend it for stroke patients. Um, anyway, so there's a technique in yoga uh, for the eyes, which is called drishti. There are nine different drishti points that you can utilize um, in different poses. You would gaze in different directions. Um, if you've been practicing yoga for a long time, it comes to you natural. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of touch base and talk about them a little bit. So the drishti it also helps to develop concentration. I'm a little cheat cheat. <laughs> it helps to develop concentration, um, controls your attention, and allows you to be present in the moment. So um, one of the so there are nine total drishti uh, gaze points. The first one is at the nose tip. So the nose tip could usually be used in poses like upward facing dog. Um, the third eye, um, drishti is usually in poses like dolphin or maybe child's pose where you have your forehead down on the mat so you're concentrating on that little muscle in between your eyebrows. Um, the navel, which is your belly button, um, it's uh, usually gaze towards in your downward facing dog and um, you know forward bends, standing forward bends and um, poses like that. Um, the hand, whenever you gaze up at the hand, you might be able to do in triangle is a good example or sometimes some of the twists um, and things like that which involve having you know one of the hands up. The fifth one is your big toes. That's for your forward seated bends. Um, so you'll be usually, you know, doing like Pachimutanasana and um, poses like that. You'll be gazing at your big toes. Um, the sixth one is a far gaze. That one's usually used in seated twists, such as Marichyasana, where you're turning over to the side and then you're turning your neck to look over that shoulder and you just gaze far off into space as far as you can turn your head. Um, let's see, number seven is up at your thumbs. That one is for standing back bends. So like in warrior one um, or crescent moon pose where you have your hands up um, above your head and the elbows behind your ears, you would gaze up at the thumbs. So those um, different types of gazes also help you challenge your balance. And in time, they actually improve your balance. Um, and what was the eighth one is up to infinity. So um, up to infinity is all, could also be in variations like um, mountain pose um, and even warrior one as well. If you want to challenge yourself and just look up at the sky. Um, so a lot of the chest openers and things like that. Um, and the last one is actually down to the floor or just the fixed gaze. And that's the one that I most use in my one-legged balances, like tree pose, like warrior three, like the dancer's pose, and poses of that nature. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about in tree pose is what you're doing is you're actually opening up your hips once again. So um, some of the preparatory poses um, in, before you attempt doing it. So once again, if you have bad balance, um, you can do this next to a wall. So you could use a wall. I don't have a wall here to demonstrate, but you can use a wall for balance. Um, 
you can start with doing things like butterfly, so bringing your feet together at your groin and allowing your knees to fall out to the sides, allowing gravity to do its work. You can also do this laying down in a reclined butterfly. So this prepares your hips because you have to be able to do basically this exact um, stretch with just one side of your body while standing and balancing all at the same time. So you can all actually try doing tree on your back. So you would start laying down in your corpse pose, your Shavasana, and then you would take, you will start with the right leg and hug it into your chest. You would place the foot on top of the left thigh and then you would allow the knee to fall out to the side and then eventually your foot slides to the inside of your left thigh and then you're just allowing gravity to do its work here when you look up at your hips this naturally opens up the right hip and it naturally brings the left hip now higher than the right and vice versa when you switch sides the right will be higher than the left so that's a good way to practice um, beginners tree poses just lying down so once you're standing and you're doing this standing in mountain pose with your feet hip distance apart I usually uh, do this pose in my class and I do it in stages so you would start by just um, putting all of the weight in say your left foot and then bringing the toes in towards the left foot as well. So you're like this, you're standing on your tippetoes. You could maybe rest your heel on your ankle. So you're just standing um, like this. So you can have your hands alongside your body. Here you can inhale them up. You can bring the palms together and exhale them to heart center. I do the heart center a lot because I feel like having my hands at heart center allows me to have my core muscles um, more strong, more flexed. So it gives me better balance. You don't have to do that. You don't have to keep your hands at heart center. Anyway, so to challenge yourself, you're then going to lift the foot up and you can place it on the standing leg below the knee or above the knee. So for the advanced version, obviously you're going to grab the foot, you're going to place it above the knee. And then once you have your steadiness, so again, here I'm gazing down at the ground. It always helps to look at something that's not moving. The ground is always a good spot and then inhaling your hands up palms together exhaling heart center and then I like to play around with some balance in my classes so I usually inhale lift the arms back up I'll open them up into like gold post cactus hands or starfish hands whatever you want to call them and then I'll do little circles with my wrists and I'll wiggle my fingers just playing around with balance a little bit Again, you're using your core here to hold yourself upright and you're balancing. And this is a fairly advanced pose. Some people can't even get their foot up. So again, you'll be down here if that's the case for the beginners. Or you can even use something, you know, to hold on to like a wall as well. And that's pretty much your tree pose. Um, contraindications of this pose include um, having blood, high blood pressure, you probably don't want to bring your hands up too high. And then um, if you have any kind of injuries, of course consult your doctor, I always say that. Be careful with your knees, keeping a micro bend in your knee of the standing leg. And then again, the hips need to be in good health, um, you know, in order to perform some of the hip openers. Um, benefits include, obviously, you, you're going to improve the strength of the standing leg. You're going to be opening up the hip. Um, so increasing the range of motion in your hip and the flexibility of it. You're going to be um, working on your balance and uh, sciatica pain. So some of the hip openers and stretches like that that involve opening the hip and stretching the inside of the thigh and the gluteus are definitely for sciatica pain. So that's um, something you want to look into as well and consult your position about prior to taking yoga and doing any of these poses. That was your tree pose. Gotta think of my September pose now, I guess. Alright, thanks for watching. Namaste.